Another Starbucks coffee house opens in Beijing as the American company tempts the Chinese taste buds. There's one thing that's the same in every Starbucks store in China and all around the world. Great coffee and a great customer experience. But the man doing the hard sell isn't on the Starbucks payroll. I'm Gary Locke. I'm the governor of Washington State. He and a group of American politicians are in China helping brands like Starbucks and Microsoft capture the lucrative Chinese market, a move they say to help their state's economies. Elsewhere, Lorraine Hunt, the lieutenant governor of Nevada, promotes her state's tourism. Hunt is helping the Chinese get American travel visas. And she's also trying to secure direct airlinks from Beijing to Las Vegas. We did have a setback because of 9-11. There is no doubt. Uh, the, the, but they are very anxious to get through the red tape and to figure out a way to increase the visas. Earlier, South Carolina's governor, Mark Sanford, closed a deal on behalf of a soya bean exporter in his state. As cheap Chinese products continue to flood the U.S. and threaten American jobs, politicians like Sanford are warning China to make trade relations fairer before American voters ask Congress to punish China with trade sanctions.